Hello everybody and uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy and now we have the next section characteristics of an image by a plane mirror we found out how the image is found such a beautiful thing we learned coming like that going back it is very simple now the next step that the authors of this wonderful book are taking you to the next step they want to talk about the size the distance and lateral right left inversion so i am going to read out the textbook take an object say a pen or a pencil put it in front of a plane mirror put it in front of a plane mirror touching the surface of the mirror you touch it to the surface of the mirror what do you say about the size of the image compared to the size of the object size of the image compared to the size of the object move the object towards your eye so what you are doing is like you touch it in the front of the mirror and you are moving it backwards okay what do you observe is the size of the image decreasing or increasing figure 9 this is the figure 9 shows the formation of an image by a plane mirror in that figure you might have noticed you might have noticed that the size of the image is equal to the size of the object why does the size of the image seem to be decreased when we move the object towards the eye to understand this see figure 10 see figure 10 this is figure 10 not that other one to understand this see figure 10 which shows our how our eyes judge the size of the object of an object observers 1 and 2 this is observer 1 and this is observer 2 this is observer 1 and this is observer 2 are looking at an object which is at a point o are looking at an object which is at a point o it looks smaller to observer 2 the object looks smaller this object this is o it is at a point o It looks smaller to observer 2. This looks smaller to observer 2 than to observer 1. Really? So, the observer 2 is behind. That object looks smaller. It is a very simple principle. Uh, because the light rays coming from the object make a smaller angle. So, so, the light rays coming from the objects make a smaller angle. This angle is smaller. If it go further, it becomes even small. See, it becomes very small. This is even smaller. So, the Observers 1 and 2 are looking at the object which is at point O. It looks smaller to observer 2 than to observer 1. Because the light rays coming from the object make a smaller angle at the eye of the observer who is at a larger distance compared to observer 1. Because of the distance, this is observer 1 distance, this is observer 2 distance. This distance is more, angle is smaller. Okay. Okay, the angle plays a role in judging the size of the object. This is the crucial sentence. The angle plays the role in judging the size of the object. In the same way, when we move the object from the mirror to our eye, the image in the mirror seems to move back in the mirror. Then the distance from the image to our eye increases. The angle made by image at our eye is smaller than the angle made by the object. This is the beauty. This is the mirror in front of me. I put the, let us say I put the marker on the surface of the, this is a mirror, on the surface of the mirror. I move it here. Now, the object is coming closer to me. The object is becoming bigger. It is really becoming, it is very big now to me. But the image is going further inside. It is becoming smaller. That is all he is saying. It is becoming smaller because of distance. Because of distance, the angle at our eye becomes small of the image. The angle at our eye of the object becomes big. In the same way, when we move the object from the mirror to our eye, the image in the mirror seems to move back in the mirror. Then the distance from the image to our eye increases, obviously. The angle made by image at our eye, at our eye is smaller than the angle made by the object. That is why the image looks smaller than the object. It looks smaller. It is not really small. When you stand in front of a mirror, you might have observed that the distance of your image in a plane mirror seems to be equal to the distance between the mirror and yourself. This is the second point is coming to. Size is over. This is a distance. So, if you stand in front of the mirror, this distance, if this is a mirror, let us say, this distance will be equal to this distance. That we have already seen. 
what you observe is generally true okay so uh, we have already done that in figure 9 the earlier section you also might have observed the right left inversion of your image in a plane mirror why does an image suffer lateral that is right left inversion okay so it is very simple uh, what uh, you see figure 11 so this he has given a figure 11 we'll draw the figure 11 here he has given a figure 11 here and we'll draw the figure 11 So what he did, he took a mirror, he put this is a mirror and there is a boy and uh, from the top we are seeing, so this is all black and his ear is here, here. so this distance, so it comes here, so the image is formed like this. So. Now he's okay. This is the figure 11. The light rays which come from our right ear get reflected from the plane mirror and reach our eye. So, this right ear reaches our eye. Our brain feels that the ray reflected ray is coming from the from inside the mirror, but it's, you feel it's coming from inside the mirror, right? It won't be so straight. It gets reflected like this. So this is normal, and this will come like this, slight an angle, and it looks as if it's coming from here. Our, our brain feels that the ray, reflected ray, this is the reflected ray, this is the incident ray, this is the reflected ray. It looks, it seems to the brain, the eye is here, as if it is coming from here. Our brain feels that the ray is coming from the inside of the mirror, shown by the dotted line. So, this is, we can make it the dotted line, this is the dotted line. So, for the eye, this is not, it is not coming from here, for the eye, it is coming from here. Once you get that, you will get the reason for right left inversion it's very simple that is why our right look right ear looks like left ear in the image but this man this ear is not right ear he's turned here so this is comes here so this is left ear this is right ear here right ear but for this this boy in the image this is left ear so beautiful right in the similar way if this is left ear this will go like this reach the eye and <laughs> the reflected ray will be coming from here same thing. So, left will become right, right will become left. So, that is so clear, so clear. Now, observe the lateral inversion of a letter J. So, the similar way he put the lateral inversion of J, the letter J, that is also a very beautiful diagram. In So, you see this textbook, how beautiful the textbook is. He has taken you stepwise, so beautifully. He has taken a mirror like this and he has got this J letter. So, this is, I do not have to explain again, how will it come? The J will come. So, the J will come here. So, J will be like this. Sorry. So, it is very easy to draw geometrically. With the geometry box, you can draw it. J will come like this. Now, observe the lateral inversion of a letter with a lay diagram in figure 12. This is the figure 12. Think of the process of image formation by a plane mirror and you can explain it to your friend. There is a small project you have to do. It is very simple. Take this point, take this point, take this point, make the rays and you will get this. We now know that how light reflects from plane surfaces. So, plane surfaces, now we have a thorough understanding. How did we go? We did a lab activity. We found out angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection in reality. Then we found out why it is like that. The next step was the size, the distance and the lateral inversion. Now, we come to reflection of light by spherical mirrors. Smoothly spherical mirrors, I should say, spherical like this. They make a circle like that. They make a circle like that. We cut a part. How do they form images? Interesting, isn't it? Plane mirrors form images like this. How do such surfaces and such surfaces? Concave mirrors, convex mirrors. That we'll see in the further sections. Almost the next four sections will be like that. Okay. This is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. Thank you so much.